The Greens position on this, I mean, initially I know in the past there's been some concern from the Greens around this particular project. What is the position now? Well, it would be nice if the government shared with us the figures that they're working with, wouldn't it? So that we actually knew what we're looking at in terms of costs. But yeah, you're right. The Greens have always been in favour of high-speed rail, but we've always been opposed to this project in its form that it's been in for the last 14 years because it's incredibly expensive, really, really poor value for money and incredibly environmentally damaging as well. We've got Countries like France managed to build high-speed rail at about a sixth of the cost well, of what this would, is costing. Some people would argue that part of the reason it's so ex expensive is that we put in so much mediation trying to protect you know, uh, the Chilterns and to put these huge tunnels in. And that's part and, of the reason why it's so expensive. And part of the reason is because it's going through urban areas. In France, they don't have that issue. Part mm. of the reason also is that it was designed to be super, super, super straight so that you know, incredibly high-speed trains could go on it up to 400 kilometres an hour, even though those trains aren't actually going to be the ones running on it. Effectively, it's a vanity project. It was designed to too high a spec and that has meant that it's been beset by problems yeah. all the way along. But Ellie, where we are now, mm. we, we, this is where we are here and now, mm. what do the Greens think now? Should it go to Manchester? Well, our conference, our policy is made by our members and our conference in a couple of weeks is going to look at precisely this issue. But without the government being transparent about what the costs are and what the costs are likely to be of the next leg, how, how is anybody supposed to come to an informed judgment about that so I think it's outrageous that the government isn't letting people know that information but the worst of all worlds frankly is that you know this contracted bit of it is built not even going all the way into London despite buildings being knocked down all over London to build stations yes. that now aren't going to be the there. The Prime Minister was and singing then, the praises of Old Oak Common and yeah. no, nobody knows quite where it is on, uh, on Thursday. And then for the northern leg of it not to be built because actually it would have been the northern part where this sort of investment in rail could have generated the greatest yeah. benefit. So it's an enormously mismanaged project from start to finish.